Hi, welcome to Volatility 411 for April 7th, 2020. I'm Russell Rhodes, Head of Research and Consulting at EQ Derivatives. Uh, as I stand here, the S&P 500 is up a little bit more than 3% on the heels of a huge Monday. VIX is down just a little bit at 44. The April VIX is at 40 and the May contracts at 37. A couple of little reminders here. Consider this public service announcements. Uh, April expiration is next Wednesday on the open, 4.15. And we've got a three-day weekend coming up. So there are fewer days left. We're almost at VIX April expiration. Uh, yesterday was the 31st day of backwardation. Today looks like it's going to be the 32nd straight day starting back on February 24th. Just a reminder, the longest streak was 63 days from September to December of 2008. Uh, interesting trade a little bit later in the day yesterday uh, using the May VIX calls. It was a, a slightly out of the money call spread. Uh, they purchased the 42 and a half and the 72 and a half calls and sold twice as many of the 57 and a half calls. Uh, they paid 624 for the 42 and a half calls, a buck 94 for the 72 and a half calls, and they sold uh, that sweet spot, the 57 and a halves, at 324. All of that comes to a cost of $1.70 and a butterfly with a break even uh, on the downside of 44.20 on the upside of 70.80. Nice wide range if they hold this through May expiration. And then finally, Finally, been a lot of talk about VVIX, the VIX of VIX. Uh, the long-term average for VVIX from 2007 through 2019 is around 90. Uh, it's been above 140 for several weeks now. It's hovering above there today. Yesterday, it was barely down. Uh, and just keep it with a big stock rally. Just keep in mind that uh, VVIX is a good measure of people paying up for tail protection. And as long as it remains elevated, people are still a little little bit on edge. So for that, I'm Russell Rhodes and that's your Volatility 411.